Hi, my name is Corey and I want to walk you through the self-employment tax credit process so that you know what to expect, what it looks like, um, how easy it is, and to help you to be able to get your tax credit, which you can receive up to $32,220. This tax credit is not very well known and for the 2020 portion of it, that expires April 15th right around there so you want to hurry and go ahead and apply for your tax credit so let's go through that right now <clears throat> so about the SETC this tax credit is called the self-employment tax credit and is also known as the FFCRA families first coronavirus response act kind of a hard long phrase to remember this tax credit came out March 18th of 2020 it came out quite a while ago the very few business owners know about it <clears throat> it's um, not uh, a, a marketed or well publicized tax credit uh, most people knew about the ERC and the PPP and all that kind of stuff but there were also some some hidden tax credits in there and with this one um, it's it's quite easy to apply for and to receive uh, I'll show you what the requirements are this is for self-employed individuals so individuals who own a business or are sole proprietors who have done some contract work so they've been paid as a 1099 you know maybe they had a side hustle etc but have received payment through a 1099 <clears throat> um, they can be any kind of business owner but it's for that individual to receive this tax credit and this tax credit is for those who missed work because they were sick with COVID or had to care for a spouse or children that had COVID or um, had to help care with for children that missed school because the schools had closed down. The max amount of the tax credit possible is 32220 and the 2020 portion of this tax credit, like I mentioned, is expiring just um, very soon. So it expires April 15th of 2024. So you want to make sure in order to take advantage of the 2020 tax credit portion um, you need to hurry and apply and uh, get to apply for your file for your tax credit before that date so how to apply um, get an online quote in 15 minutes so it's a, a pretty quick process you go to the link below or the link that you've been provided with and fill out the basic contact form I'm, go I'm going to show you how that works in just a couple minutes Next, you'll be directed to a page with details about the SETC. So read through those details just to make sure you understand everything. And then down below is a form where you'll fill out that information to get your quote. There are some fields that um, show where you can upload your taxes. That would be the 2019, 2020, and 2021 personal taxes, um, but you are not required to upload those taxes on this form. So you don't have to do that yet. Um, I did when I applied for it through the same process. So I wanted to make sure that I went through this process for myself so that um, I could explain everything to you. <clears throat> After completing your form, you'll instantly receive an estimate on the next step and an email with your estimated amount that you'll receive. So just in the next few minutes, as you go through the application, you can see a an amount that you can expect to receive you'll receive a link then after you fill out the application to verify your identity so you would um, click on that link and you would upload uh, a form of ID uh, so your driver's license or something similar to that if you don't have a driver's license and then uh, make sure that you're on like either a, a phone or a computer that has a webcam because then it will verify your identity by um, you showing your face and turning your head slightly to one side, turn your head slightly to the other side. And <clears throat> I don't know if I'll get that far um, in this video. I want to keep it quick and short. But just so you know that you'll be verifying your identity. This is to eliminate any uh, bad actors out there who kind of ruin it for the rest of us. So you just have to make sure that everyone verifies their identity. So we're playing by all the rules and we're making sure that everything is done correctly you'll schedule a time for a brief welcome call with the CPA <clears throat> and then you'll sign the agreement that yeah you do want to go ahead and file for this tax credit 
then we will print and mail and file your tax credit. Um, the current time it's taking to receive your tax credit is around 22 weeks. So let's go ahead and go through the application process just so you can see how that works. So you will see a web page that looks like this. Um, this is the web page where you would go ahead and apply. There is some more information down below, but we've gone through all of the important information so you can go ahead and click on get started. And fill out this basic information just right here. I already applied yesterday, so I'm going to do a different email just in case <clears throat> it doesn't uh, accept me since I would be considered a duplicate. This is not my phone number right here. And I want to make sure that you click that link right there so that we can contact you by by text um, to help you get through the process so you can get your tax credit. Then click on the next step right here and you'll be directed to a page that has a little bit more in-depth info about the SCTC. You wanna make sure that you go through it. So as you go down, read through this information just so that you know everything that you need to know about this tax credit. So it's gonna uh, go through and show you where you need to get your numbers from on your tax credit um, so make sure that you read through that information as you go down and finish reading this info then you'll go ahead and click on I agree to these terms click next and here is the form right here and so at the top it says did you file the original tax return for the tax year 2020 and and 2021 so I'll put yes with the filing status as married filing jointly um, I did so I'm putting yes there self employers name I'm putting Matt price and then date of birth so your date of birth there and a phone number and this is a different phone number just for testing purposes, of course. An email address there, and then um, other taxpayers' name listed. So this would be a spouse. <clears throat> and I'm just putting some fake names on here. Uh, date of birth for secondary taxpayer. So put a date of birth right there. And then um, is the second taxpayer also self-employed? Um, in this case, no. So you'll just enter the information. Do you have dependents listed on your return? Uh, yes. And then you'll provide names and birth dates. I'm just going to put one person right here for the sake of time. And then, uh, let's see, I certify that I'm in a position properly to evaluate and answer questions, yes. Uh, legal business name, testing, ink, trade name, um, I'm not gonna put anything there, but put a trade name if you have a trade. <coughs> um, tax return address, 123 Main Street, and then, <coughs> Los Angeles, California, 90210, after the show, <laughs> if you know what show I'm talking about. Okay, so we filled out that info right there, now we click on next. Were you self-employed during this time? Uh, yes. Was your self-employment income in 2019 higher than in 2020? I'm going to put yes. And then um, read that information right there. In 2020, did you sacrifice working? Yes. So if you're sick with COVID or missed any work, you'll put yes there. And then, um, so for a lot of people, they'd miss work not in just one chunk. It's going to be um, different different dates. Like maybe you missed a couple days here and a couple days there. 
but just go ahead and put in one chunk you know like add all those days together <coughs> um, and so that you can uh, put down the, the total number of days that you had missed in one shot um, for this section the total number of days that you can miss is 10 so I'm going to put down and go to 2020 and then to March and then I'm going to put this day to and I'll have to go to March of 2020 and if this is kind of boring you can uh, go forward um, and listen to this faster put it on a faster setting or just skip after this part <clears throat> and then we're gonna put well, like here and let's adjust so that it gets to 10 days because I missed <coughs> um, work because I was sick with COVID and my son had long COVID and missed so much and my kids all missed school so we pretty much maxed out all of that time what was the amount paid by the employer in 2020 so um, I was self-employed so there was no compensation for missing or being sick so I'm putting zero right there <clears throat> 2020 did you sacrifice working in your business because you cared for someone else yes I had sick kids sick my wife got COVID as well um, so you'll put down the date there it's got to be sometime after April 1st and before in 2020 and before April 1st in 2021 so we're gonna put down 10 days there because we missed a bunch of work so I'm gonna go to back to 2020 and put in the dates so that equals 10 because the max on this section is 10 so a lot of people missed a lot more than 10 days so if the max that you can put is 10 then that's what you put <coughs> um, let's see so that says negative 23 there so I gotta fix that gotta go 5 21 2020 so let's go to May and 21 okay so we've got 10 there and then was I compensated because of missing nope zero <clears throat> did you sacrifice working in your business because you had kids that um, had to miss school or daycare so yes our kids schools shut down <clears throat> so then the maximum number of days on this section is 50 days so I'm gonna go ahead and put dates there for 2020 and you'll also do this for 2021 as well and this is probably the longest part just figuring out the calendar dates making sure that you've got the right amount of days <clears throat> so I'm gonna put April 1 of 2020 and then we're gonna go to June and let's see what amount is that that says 84 days so we got to change the date so it equals 50 now we're to 62 so I'm gonna go back a month and we go here now we're at 57 so just gotta adjust a little bit more to right there almost there 51 okay now we're at 50 okay were we compensated because kids miss school no <clears throat> and now here is where you reference your your tax returns so you have to find your 2019 tax returns and find your um, 1040 schedule S E and go to um, box number looks like box number four on there so follow the instructions on here so that you make sure that you put in the right amount there let's see so in here line for your form so read through this really quickly please only provide your self-employed income okay <clears throat> so I'm gonna put down here I don't know. Let's see, thirty-five thousand, and then we'll click next. Now we're on to the next part of the form. This is for 2021. It's going to look like just the, the previous page that we just did. So I'm going to go through it. I'm actually going to 
everything is is the same as the previous page. This is just for 2021. So I'm actually going to pause it so you don't have to watch me going through all of that all over again. All right. So right here, really quickly, <coughs> where you so I answered all the questions. Were you self-employed? Yes. Um, was your self-employed income in 2020 higher than in 2021? <coughs> um, I put yes here. Actually, I'll change it to no. This is just for demo purposes only. And then, you know, make sure to answer all of everything truthfully, of course. And did you sacrifice in 2021? Yes. And so I put the number of days and it came out to 10. And then scrolling down here in 2021, did you miss work because of a spouse or a child? Yes. I put the dates there to equal 10. So the, the max days is 10 for that section. And then down below, <coughs> did you miss work because kids were out of school? The max number of days for this is 60. If you had kids that were out of school, we had kids out of school for a few months. And then um, I put zero for did an employer compensate you for any care? So zero there. And then make sure that you'll go to your 2021 taxes, um, your 1040 SE, and go to box number six right there and enter the information. <coughs> Let's see. I'll put something like that and I'll click on next and on this page it's going to give you a quote so right here based on the information provided it looks like you should be getting back 8770 with the SETC program okay that's great extra $8,000 in your pocket and it breaks it down by 2020 and 2021 our first applicant that went through qualified for 30,000 so I just put some random numbers in those boxes so of course that's not accurate for me but just to give you an idea of how soon you can get your quote, it's right after you enter that information on the form. So then it says what the next steps are right here. So just follow through with this. You'll receive an invite to our secure portal for communication purposes where you'll be able to upload required documents necessary. Since I didn't upload documents in this form for taxes, um, it, it shows you what you can do next right here in the steps. And um, right now what's going on is that they, there's a team of over 50 CPAs that will evaluate your information and you'll get on a, a welcome call, make sure that you provide the necessary documents, which would be 2019, 2020, and 2021 uh, personal tax returns and driver's license. So that's all you need. Make sure you have that. Um, so look for that to make sure you have it ready so you can upload that into the system and then we can get the exact number of the tax credit that you'll be able to get back. And then you'll be guided through on filing. And then it's taking about right around four months for your tax credit to be paid back either by check or direct deposit. Um, for 2020, you'll receive a check. For 2021, I believe it is direct deposit. So that's how you'll receive that back. And then we do have a fee, of course, for our services to be able to help you get that tax credit. So um, now hopefully you can see how this whole process works. And there's a little bit more info on that next page. So you can watch that video on what to do next. And there's information about, um, right here is where you can upload your tax returns just on this next page so you can see where to do that. <clears throat> but right here it goes through what our fee is so you know um, how much it is what the cost is um, and you'll pay the fee after collecting uh, your your tax return and so that's calculated down here 20% out of what you what you receive and then you'll be able to put in information right here on being able to pay the fee all right, so there is a small processing fee up front as well, um, $179 one-time fee for us to do all the work and to file, or four monthly payments broken down into $75. So you should be able to get thousands of dollars for your tax credit for the self-employment tax credit, uh, which is not very well known. Uh, so many business owners have not filed for it. You need to hurry because April 15th 
2020 expires, that portion of the SETC tax credit expires for 2020. And then 2021 is still available until the next year, 2025, April 15th. So you will have another year to be able to file for the 2021 portion of it. But um, to take full advantage of the SETC, file by April 15th so you can get both 2020 and 2021 of this tax credit. All right, thanks for sticking with me. It's been a 20 minute long video. So um, now that you see the process of this, go ahead, apply if you're self-employed and we're looking forward to helping you with your tax credit.